Hi, I'm Mike Kimmel with Waterfront Development Corporation, and um, we're here to just kind of kick off this whole thing with our with our Phase Four. One of the most effective projects undertaken in Louisville was the revitalization of our waterfront. As a result of the first three phases, the economic impact has been characterized by bringing over $1.3 billion in investment in and around the waterfront district. Another study indicated that Waterfront Park is expected to generate $12.6 million in taxes from nearly $91 million in secondary sales this year. The social impacts also have been enormous. Both free and paid events draw folks from every neighborhood in our community. Having a good time with fellow residents improves the quality of life for all of us. Of course, the most important impact of each phase of Waterfront Park is measured by the smiles on children's faces playing in the park. To create the, the dynamic results took efforts of private citizens, foundations, utilities, and of course government. It's exciting to think of all the possibilities for a site that commands this amount of attention and would offer so much in return. And here to lead the effort, please welcome Mayor Greg Fisher. Thank you, Mike, and good afternoon, everybody. So, I mean, just think about what this is going to be. So if you've, you know, been in the city any time at all and remember the junkyards along the waterfront just east of here and think about what transpired from that unsightly, unwelcoming aspect of our city to the beautiful, globally award-winning park that it is today. And then look around here. We can do better than this. This will be transformed into the equally beautiful and attractive waterfront park for our city, for the entire world to enjoy. So that's what's going to take place right here in front of us here in West Louisville. So it is great to be here at the home of Waterfront Park Phase 4. We're even getting Representative Daryl Owens out to come on up here. Come on up here, Representative Owens. Let's give him a round of applause. Longtime public servant here. We'll be hearing from Sherry Bryan Hamilton, Councilwoman in a second, with Barbara Sexton Smith is also with us here today, another elected official. So thank you, Barbara. So when you think about Waterfront Park, it really has transformed into be the front yard of our community. It's what millions of drivers see when they come into our city, and of course, cumulatively, it's what millions of us enjoy every year as well. Uh, this is not us just bragging about our hometown. Waterfront Park is honored as one of the great global parks uh, year in and year out and is a tremendous source of pride for us here in Louisville. Uh, Mike mentioned it, it enhances our city's quality of life in so, so many ways from just a daily visitor to the wonderful Forecastle Festival and everything in between. It's a great economic development draw for our city. The Waterfront Wednesdays that take place, Thunder Over Louisville coming up in just a couple weeks as well. It's where people go when we gather in large numbers here in our city. It's like the big family gathering place. The park helps us uh, in so many different ways. When you think about the 24 million tourist visits that come to town, of course, a lot of us, what they say, where should I go? Say, go to Waterfront Park, take a hike across the Big Four Bridge, enjoy what we have right here in our very own city. So when you think about the park, it's taken time for it to happen, like any great project, and it's been built in phases over time. And those of us that have lived here for a while will remember the work and determination and commitment that was required to transform what was a very unappealing industrial site into a beautiful community green space, one phase at a time, phase one, phase two, phase three. And now it's time to take that vision that we've had for the community and take that next step and make waterfront phase four a reality. The Metro Council has already approved a master plan for the park and our last budget included $950,000 for planning and land acquisition. So that's already been committed. It's in the bank. A lot of it's been spent. 
Today, we're going to share more specific plans developed for the esti estimated $35 million westward expansion of the park. Let's hear a little excitement here. I mean, this is big news here today. I mean, is everybody kind of st stunned by this? I so we're going to hear from our partners uh, from the Metro Council, Waterfront Development Corporation and its board, MKSK Studios and MSD, about the planning, fundraising, land acquisition involved in bringing the next phase of Waterfront Park to fruition. And I'm really proud you're going to hear about this, about kind of the smart way that we're working with our consent decree, various public, public agencies to do stuff for our long-term infrastructure, green infrastructure, and then cap that all off with another phase of a globally award-winning park. So it's how we all work together to get the maximum benefit for our citizens. Waterfront Park also, when you think about the built environment strategy that we've got going on in our community, phase four aligns perfectly with the work that we're doing just a few blocks and just adjacent to here as well, uh, both in the historic Russell neighborhood and in the Portland neighborhood. So Russell, of course, is where we're working with residents to transform Beecher Terrace and the entire Russell neighborhood uh, it, with a 29.5 million federally uh, won choice neighborhood grant and other investments as well that will scale up to over $200 million. So, of course, that's happening just south of here. And then the Portland neighborhood itself is seeing a tremendous arts and cultural renaissance. Gil Holland is somewhere here with us at, in our crowd. Gil, where are you? He's back here. Gil has been a real catalyst for the development of Portland. We appreciate your leadership, Gil. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for Gil Holland. There you go, man. Good job. And then when you think about the individual investments that have taken place, our friends with Peerless Distillery are right over here have made a, a leading investment in Portland. ENS Gallery is here. The Table Restaurant has grown into one of the great restaurants in our city as well. Uh, Heine Brothers is in the house, and their headquarters have, has moved to the Portland neighborhood as well. And then just two weeks ago, uh, Louisville Grows opened its new headquarters, Healthy, the Healthy House, in a former vacant property. Scott Cullums is in the back. I see him back there with his investment in Portland as well. So the love is really spreading through Portland and through Russell. And so when you think of kind of like putting an exclamation point on a lot of this development, Waterfront Park Phase 4 is going to do that. So it's st extending Waterfront Park all the way to 13th Street and transforming what obviously now is mostly vacant lots and overgrown weeds into something green and beautiful around this very historic part of our city is going to really help our citizens quality of life while also obviously boosting a lot of redevelopment that has started in the area and will only accelerate from here on and so as i said in my state of the city speech a few months back we had it at the baxter community center in the russell neighborhood when it comes to the future of our city no matter what part of town you live in we are all in this together. And it's very important that every neighborhood is a safe and healthy neighborhood, and great parks obviously are part of that. W projects like Waterfront Park Phase 4 are critical because they also strengthen the links amongst all of us in the community. Parks draw people, events draw people from all parts of the community to be together in that one spot. And that connection and coming together is what creates opportunities for all of us to get to know each other and get to appreciate each other and obviously get to help each other as well. I want to have a specific uh, thank you to Sherry Bryan Hamilton, our councilwoman. Uh, councilwoman uh, Bryan Hamilton has been tireless, not just for her uh, citizens day in and day out, but really working well with us on both big picture issues like this and then the day-to-day -day issues in our community as well. And she has what it takes with her persistence and teamwork here and has been just a great, great partner on this project. So, Councilwoman, I really appreciate what you're doing. It's a big day, obviously, for the district here today. All right? So that's why we're doing all this, and we can't wait to get started. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Thank you, Mayor. In most projects, <clears throat> we focus on the end result to maintain excitement. In this project, we have an exciting component before park construction even begins. To explain, let me introduce Brian Bingham, Chief of Operations for the Metropolitan Sewer District. Brian. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here and represent MSD on this wonderful day 
on this incredible project and a little bit about why we're here. As many of you all know, we have a consent decree in our community where we're reducing and eliminating the overflows to the waterways from the sewer system. And in this area, we have a combined sewer system. And originally what was planned was to have three basins in this, in this area that will tie into the, the tunnel. There was gonna be one at Story in Maine, one at Lexington and Payne, and one on this site at 13th and Rowan. Instead of that, and to minimize the disruption to the community, as we were gonna go down Main Street, a new concept was come up with to do a deep tunnel. So the tunnel will be 200 feet deep, and this will be the end point of it, and it will take the place of those three basins. So it's about 13,800 feet long, it's 200 feet deep, and it's 20 feet in diameter. And there will be 37 million gallons of storage capacity there. What that really means is we needed to buy this property. And we only need a part of it for the ultimate project, but we needed a, a bigger part of it for the construction. So we're going to end up having the, the pump station that empties that tunnel back out and into our system down at the far end of the site. Of the 4.8 acres that we bought, we'll need 1.8 acres or less of that. So at least three acres of that will be able to be partnered with waterfront development and use that for public good. This is something that we're really proud of and we've done it around the community. We're working in a lot of the parks or near the parks and we try to help make the community better because we re do represent the entire community. So in the end, this isn't really about our project. It's about uh, how we can be part of helping waterfront development grow this incredible park system along the river and make a public amenity that's unlike any in, in the country. Thank you all very much. Thanks, Brian. A great design generates excitement and will keep phase four popular for future generations. Here to tell us about the conceptual plan is Casey Elmer of MKSK Studios. Casey. Thanks everyone. I'm, I get to talk to the pretty pictures. So, uh, Louisville really does have a special relationship with Waterfront Park. I saw it last year in the fall when I was walking along the promenade and saw a young man uh, kneel down and propose to his girlfriend while his family expectantly looked on. They were all excited. Maybe it was the uh, Christmas Day walk my family and I took across the Big Four Bridge as I was trying to uh, walk off some three pieces of decadent cheesecake. Or perhaps it was watching my kids as they uh, ran and chased the, after the planes as they came zooming along the, the riverway and uh, watched the amazing fireworks show, uh, the greatest display here in, in America. But there is something special about Waterfront Park that connects us. MKSK is honored and excited to participate in this next phase of Waterfront Park, Phase 4, which will become Louisville's next pearl in a legacy of parks that connect Louisville through one of Riverfront experiences. With 1.5 million annual visitors already coming to Waterfront Park, this 22-acre site that you're all standing on right here will stand apart. This Phase 4 of the park will strive to reveal the river ecology and the stunning views of the city behind us, and the river itself, as well as offer moments to play where everyone can enjoy pathways, activity lawns, playscapes, a world-class fountain. Um, and finally, we're striving to connect to the history and heritage of Ford on Shore, which happened just about here, Louisville's first settlement, as well as connect the Louisville Loop and other jogging trails. With multiple scales of spaces and activities, the park will be a place where everyone can enjoy a multitude of activities and events, from Four Castle Festival-sized events to the mom and tot get-togethers. Can you see yourself with your young children splashing in the fountain right behind me in this area on a hot day in July? Or playing in a pickup game of soccer behind you in the activity lawn? Or spreading your blanket to watch the fireworks with your friends and family around you? Or maybe even proposing to your loved one as you kneel on the promenade over the river with the city lights in the background. We can, and that's why we're excited to be involved in working to create the next pearl of Louisville, Waterfront Phase 4. Thank you. Thank you, Casey. Louisville is blessed to have the leadership that Councilwoman Sherry Brown Hamilton brings to her district. <clears throat> Where her leadership really shows 
is in planning and strategy meetings. She is involved with the big idea and continues to discuss and question until the big idea becomes better. The podium is now hers. Please welcome Councilwoman Sherry Brown Hamilton, who will close this announcement. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, with the announcement of the acquisition of these 22 acres for Waterfront Park Phase 4, we celebrate another important step on the more than 30-year journey which was envisioned to redevelop our waterfront. Long before we appropriated the $40,000 for a conceptual master plan report to kickstart this Phase 4 project in the 2013 annual budget, which led to MKSK's award-winning and exciting design plan for Waterfront Park Phase 4, which generated a lot of community excitement. The Westford expansion of Waterfront Park was already envisioned as part of the plan back in the 1980s when Harvey I. Sloan was mayor, and several important steps were undertaken which led to the creation of the Waterfront Redevelopment Corporation to guide the redevelopment of Louisville's waterfront. We all know and appreciate the hugely popular first three phases of the waterfront park, which started at the 4th Street Wharf and went eastward. But little did we know that the westward expansion of Waterfront Park from Riverview Park East to Beargrass Creek was also part of that initial plan and strategy, which I didn't discover or know it existed until I was in a meeting with David Karen trying to get his support for Waterfront Park Phase 4 which I referred to at the time as Waterfront Park West. And he flipped the poster of the original Waterfront Development Strategy Plan over to the other side to reveal that there was already plans of what should and could be developed proceeding from west to east, including Riverview, Chickasaw, Shawnee, Lannan Parks, the old Portland Wharf, and the McAlpin Locks with the stated goal of fostering waterfront recreation access. I really got excited then and knew that this project was destined to happen. We all know that Riverview Park in the southwest part of the city was able to get their boat ramp and at Greenwood Road several years ago thanks to the diligence of Councilman Rick Blackwell. And as the Metro Council representative for District 5, which includes many of the neighborhoods that border the Ohio River in the northwest and most historic section of our city, including the Portland, Shawnee, and Chickasaw neighborhoods, we have felt landlocked and unable to have recreational access to the beautiful river we could see but not touch and enjoy for too many years. So last October, we were excited to finally open a boat ramp for fishermen, canoers, kayakers, and emergency rescue watercraft from Shipping Port Island in the Portland neighborhood with the support of our Louisville Metro Fire Department. And now we're partnering with Metro Parks and the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife for the final fund it needed in this year's budget, Mayor, for a boat ramp to open in Shawnee Park in 2018. But this 22-acre site for Waterfront Park Phase 4 brings us back to the area of Portland where the city of Louisville was founded and initially developed in the 1770s. Here at the mouth of the Portland Canal where cement, iron, and heavy materials were manufactured for decades until the 1937 flood. This park will also celebrate the heritage of Louisville and the unique history of the site. Today's announcement that all the land has finally been acquired for Waterfront Park Phase 4 is a really big deal thanks in large part to MSD and their plans to build the Basin Tunnel. And while this project is under construction, serious fundraising can continue, Mike, in earnest for phase one, of which I'm sure will take several phases to make our dream a reality. I'd like to thank the members of the community and the stakeholder group for their involvement in the master plan study process. And let's not forget the importance of the extension of River Road West from 8th Street with Rowan, which is also part of the Downtown Partnerships Master Plan, as another vital component 
to improving the connectivity between West Louisville neighborhoods to the Central Business District and the neighborhoods to the east, all with the goal of fostering waterfront recreation access for all. Thank you.